Hello everybody. Happy New Year. Um, I got these Paul Rubens, this set of Paul Rubens um, transparent watercolor. I think they're metallic, glittery metallic. Got these anyway today in the mail. So I thought I would open them up and swatch them and film that process in case there's anybody on the planet who has not seen these paints swatched yet. I need a watercolor, so these things are new to me. Oh, I can't possibly be the only person who's new to all of this. So I can bring this up a little bit. Give me some room. Okay. So, as you saw, it was wrapped in plastic. Uh, they come in this nice pink box. It has kind of a shimmer to it. I don't know if that comes across on the video. They are wrapped in a nice pink cloth. Let me just pop this out here. This cloth is really nice. Feels nice quality, almost like a just like a microfiber anyway. That's pretty. The tin is pink. Very pretty. Some Paul Rubens on the front. There's a little thing on the back for your finger. If you work that way. Feels nice and solid. This doesn't feel like a flimsy tin. This is nice. Open this part. You've got a little work area. Oh, this is nice. It doesn't bend down so it's pretty level for mixing. Oh my goodness. Okay, these guys look like they're they've all been tumbling around probably for me rolling the box around. But anyways, I'm going to get these unwrapped and organized and I'll be right back. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm back. I went ahead and unwrapped all of the paints and wrote the names of the colors on this black piece of watercolor paper. This paper is um, Stonehenge Aqua Coal Press in black, made by Legion. Okay, so it's a package of 15 sheets. I just got a very small size because I wanted to try it out. Um, so I went ahead and wrote the names of the colors and unwrapped everything. Didn't need to see all that. It would have been boring. It would have made the video way too long. So I'm just going to use this um, cat tongue brush. This is in the Christy Rice set. Um, really, really nice paint brushes. All right. Um, I'm not sure if I should wet these first. Spray them down. But let's just try. Let's just try this. You pick up a little bit. The first color is pearl silver white okay let's see how this looks that the mica looks like it's just dancing on the page in the water i don't know if you can see that that's pretty cool okay the next color is pearl platinum it almost like a champagne gold color. Let's see. Get some on there. All right, this one is pearl platinum. Let's see how this one is. Oh, look at that. I know there's a lot of water on here, but it'll dry. Of course. I just wiping off the brush on the towel before I put it in the water because I don't want the water to get full of, I want to try to keep the water a bit clean as we go. Um, next one is Flash Yellow. This one's here. It's yellowish. Doesn't look very yellow, but let's see what this one looks like. Okay, I think that might be enough. It's hard to tell if I have enough paint on the brush. This one is Flash Yellow. Really pale yellow. I'm going to add a little bit more color to that and see. No, not very yellowy, is it? Pretty, though. I mean, I love anything that sparkles. Oh, it looks pretty yellow on the paper towel. 
I will swatch these on white too. If we get done with the black. I didn't have room to set up the white paper and the black paper side by side and do them at the same time. So we'll do that separately. The next color is Deep Interference Yellow. What does it mean when a color is interference? Because there's a few interference colors in this set and I, I have no idea what that means. So if somebody wants to drop me a note in the comments, that would be great. Deep Interference Yellow. It looks a lot like the Pearl Platinum. Oops, let me do that first. By the way, the, the brush I'm using is the little Cat Tongue Watercolor Cure, size one Cat Tongue. Um, okay, Deep Interference Orange. Oh, this one's really sparkly. Okay. Ooh, that one's nice. A lot of color in that one. Really shows up on the white towel, too. I don't know if you can see the towel from where you are. Let me see. You can see that. You can't. Okay, never mind. The paper towel is off, off screen. So next one is Royal Gold. That's this one. And by the way, I have two dogs behind me and they're both sleeping and one of them is snoring so if you hear strange sounds it's the snoring dog oh you want this one these all look kind of alike royal gold try with a little more water on there i should have left myself more room for the colors but Live and learn. I'm not good at planning things out. I just kind of fly by the seat of my pants. Next one is bronze satin. This one, I don't want to lose my place. I like the way they get wet and the uh, the mica. You can see it just dancing around on the in the water puddle. Well, that's nice. That's a nice color. I'm going to try not to make this too long. I know it can get boring. Um, okay, next one is Flash Red. This does not look red. It looks very pink. Let's see what we get here. Flash Red. Okay. Flash Red. I don't see much color on that one at all. Might look red to you? It doesn't look red to me. Let's get some more. It'll probably, this is one of the ones that'll probably show up better on um, white paper. Next is Deep Interference Red. I think we're here. I think if you give these a little bit of a spray to activate them. Well, they seem to activate pretty quickly. Okay, Deep Interference Red. That one's good. Okay. That's not bad. And then we have wine red. Wine red. And this one had a little bit of um, glue from the wrapper. The wrappers were easy to take off. You just peel them off the, the top of the paint. But this one had a little bit of glue stuck to it, um, which I'm sure I can wet and it'll come right up. I'm not glue. It's probably a little bit of the sticker stuck to it. Okay, we've got wine red. Oh, that's a good one. I've never painted on black watercolor paper, so this is a first for me. I've only been playing with watercolors for a few months now, so everything is new to me. Okay, let's go with pink. This one is just pink. No fancy name, just pink. That's what that one should have been called. Light pink. All right, this is pink. Pretty. A lot of these would make pretty makeup colors. Beautiful eyeshadow. If you're into that kind of thing. Disco eyeshadow. Like 80s music. I mean 80s. 80s makeup. Okay, and then we have rose red. And that'll be the last one for this row. This 
This is the set of 24, by the way. I don't know if I already said that. Oh, that's pretty. It's almost purpley. Purple's my favorite color. I like that one. All right. I'll just give this a spin around. Um, let me go this way. Uh, okay. Next one is called Crepe Myrtle. No idea. I think somebody said that Crepe Myrtle is some kind of a bush. And I guess you could do an internet search for that. And get Crepe Myrtle. And, oh, wow. Oh, look at that. It almost looks blue on the black. I can see purpley pink in it and blue. Wow. That one almost has two colors. I mean, it looks pink there, but on the paper, it looks blue purple. Very cool. Next is Symphony Purple. Symphony Purple. Get a little wet. That's nice. That's a beautiful purple. And I gave up wiping it on the paper towel, didn't I? Okay, and we have Symphony Blue. Wet. That looks like it's going to be a pretty one. Oh, yeah. Wow. I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like the color is just dancing around in this water puddle. That's so pretty. Okay, and we have Deep Interference Blue, another interference color. Um, it'll be this one. And I noticed one thing about this set of tins, the, um, the little clip parts that hold the colors down on a few of these, they're kind of bent weird, so the colors are popping up. I, I don't know if I can fix that myself, or I don't know if it's worth um, contacting the seller about. It really doesn't affect the paint. And, oh wow, look at that bright, it's like a royal glittery blue from where I'm sitting. No idea how it's showing up on video, what it's looking like to you guys. Uh, next one is shiny blue, like they're not all shiny. Come on, they're all shiny. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, it looks pretty shiny. Oh, wow. Very shiny. Not a whole lot of blue to it. Almost like a powder blue or a turquoise blue. Pretty. Deep Interference Green. Here we go with the interference again. Uh, that's this guy. Oh, here comes one of my cats. Hi, Tyrus. Hopefully he won't walk across. Deep Interference Green. Again, doesn't look very green, does it? There's not a whole lot of green color to it. But again, very pretty. Uh, fruit green. Did I unwrap this one? I was like, ooh, the color surprised me. It didn't look like the wrapper. I wasn't expecting this color, but let's see, fruit green. That's pretty. It's more green than the one above it. Okay, next we have, this one looks like it's going to have multicolors in it, Golden Maroon. Now, I don't see any, why it's called maroon. Oh, I see a little bit of maroon in there. It almost looks like a green and brown together. This is Golden Maroon. Pretty, very pretty. Okay, and the next we have dark green. You see that looks brownish. The puddle looks brown. We've got dark green. Let's see how dark dark green is. Darkish green. Darkish. Okay. That's pretty. I'm looking at these now that they're dry, how sparkly that is. Next we have silver black this, which actually, you know, I can see silver. Oh yeah, and it does 
look well it looks more gray than black but I can see that where they got the color name this probably isn't going to show up very good on black paper since it's a black color all right and we have flash purple flash purple I don't see a whole lot of purple if I change my angle a little bit I see the purple but not really I'm gonna do them on white right after this if you want to continue watching you can if you don't that's fine we're just skip ahead okay this one is just called plain old brown all right brown Mm, okay. Well, first impressions, they're really, really glittery. I don't know if you can see if that comes across on the camera or not. If you can see the, see the glitter, uh, it's very nice. This is going to really add a little something special to paintings. I like it. Okay. Another thing I wanted to say um, about this palette, is I noticed this lifts out like it does on uh, some other palettes, but this lifts out and it gives you more mixing area. If, if that's, you know, if you like to do that. And see how I said these clips, they're not, they're bent too far down or something. They're a little bit warped, so the colors don't pop and clip underneath them. So that's a little bit. That's why they were all kind of sitting loose when I opened it up. Okay, I've got this pad. I'm going to do it in this painting I did not too long ago. All right, I already went ahead and wrote the color names on here. That's fine. Let's do these real quick. All right, now they should all maybe be a little damp. Pearl silver on white does not show if you see hair it's from my cats I have three cats two of them have super long hair they're Maine Coon cats um, their hair is all over the place plus one of my dogs is long hair but you wouldn't see his hair on the desk I wonder if this is gonna be a problem with glitter sticking in the brush like that hopefully that all comes out anyway next pearl platinum pearl platinum It's funny, it seems like what I'm getting, the ones that showed up really well on the black are not going to show up all that great on the white. It's an either or thing, I guess. Yeah, okay. Can't see the, either one of those. Okay, how about this flash yellow? Let's see if we can get this one to show up. This one showed up on the paper towel pretty good. Oh, yeah, you can see it. I'm going to bring it out here a little more because I didn't give myself a whole lot of room. Oops. Oh, one, two, one, two, three. I'm, in, I'm on this. Okay. Yeah. See, that shows up pretty good on the white. Where on the black, it didn't. It looks kind of just maybe just like glitter or silver. All right. Deep interference yellow would be this little one. I'm going to give it a little bit more water. Make it nice and juicy. Oh, Deepish. I can come out here. I've got plenty of room. Deep interference orange. This color is really bright. The nice and full paintings. I'm not a huge orange fan, but my best friend, orange is her favorite color. She'll like this one. Okay, we've got royal gold. Nice. Yeah, okay. And then we have bronze satin. This one. They're already dried up. Bronze satin. Okay, 
flash red that looks like pink. Let's see what it looks like on white. Ooh, I've got a lot of mica floating around in my water. Flash red. Still looks pink to me. Yep, even when I add more color, this is not... This looks like a salmon color from where I'm sitting. Deep Interference Red. That's this one. I think. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, that's this one. I lost my place. Okay, Deep Interference Red. I hear my dog snoring. Wine red. This look, oh, okay. I'm getting confused. They look so similar. Okay, wine red. Oh, is my brush clean? That almost looks like, like a brownish color. Wine red. Yeah, it's clean. That's the color. It does not look like I've never seen wine that color. If I did see wine that color, I probably would want to drink it because it looks kind of brown. All right, this one is pink. It had a nice little wet puddle there. Oh, that's pretty pink. Pretty. Okay, and then we have rose red, the very last one on this row. We're getting on down to the home stretch, guys. I'm getting more color. Rose red. It's, it's light. You have to add a lot. Pretty though. I mean, there's there's slight differences. They're similar, but there's a little difference. Um, look, the two yellows are very similar, and uh, these two pinks look similar. All right. Okay. Now we'll go with <coughs> crepe myrtle, and I really didn't leave a lot of space between these, so maybe I'll do the color beside instead of underneath. Okay, crepe myrtle, or I'll go like that and, yeah, go like that. This is a really neat color. It almost reminds me of opera pink. You know, that it's that really bright, vivid pink. Oops, no, I don't know how glittery it's going to be. That's it. Symphony Purple. I want to make sure my brush is clean. I don't want to be mixing them. Okay, Symphony Purple. Okay, Symphony Purple. There's a lot of water. We need more color here. Also, this paper that I'm, I'm working on is, um, I'll show you what it is when I'm done here, but it really is not a really good quality watercolor paper. I picked it up. I had seen it at Walmart and I thought Grumbarger was maybe a good name, but I don't like the way the colors play on it. So I'm just using it for things like this that I don't, you know, not a real painting. All right. Symphony Blue. Try not to get it too watery. All right. Symphony Blue. looks so light. Of course, I have to remember it's on white paper, so. Okay. All right. Next, we got Deep Interference Blue. Oh, there's another one of my cats. I'm surprised none of them have come up, jumped up, and walked across yet because they do that pretty often. That's Deep Interference Blue. That's pretty. It's really bright. So this would be good. It'll help me to know if I want to use these colors or not, if I'm on black or on white, and whether or not these colors will show up. All right, we've got Shiny Blue. Also today I got a um, 
a set of 72 uh, watercolor pencils, woodless watercolor pencils from Creta Color, I guess. Um, I'll be swatching them too. I've got it's going to take me a while to set up the um, right, get all the names down and everything. So that might not be anytime real soon. And we have Deep Interference Green. Okay. It's pretty. Subtle colors. Pretty. My paper towel is looking nice. And they have fruit green. I'd be surprised if this one shows up. It's pretty light. Yeah, how light that is. I'll put some more color. Mm. I don't know. Can't really see that one very well. That's okay. Let's go with golden maroon. Look at that nice sticky puddle there. Golden maroon. Yeah. <laughs> Kind of looks like a muddy, muddy green to me. I guess it has its place. Okay, we've got dark green. Okay, the hair. It's dark green. Oh, here comes a cat. Wilma, don't walk on that, okay? This is my cat that does not have long hair. Don't drink that water, or you'll get sick. No, no. Okay. Dark green. That's my little Wilma. She is not a main Coon. Okay, silver black. Look at that sticky. Silver black. I know that looks cool on the white paper. It didn't show up hardly at all on the black paper, but that was to be expected. And then we've got flash purple. That's this girl right here. That's enough flash purple. I don't know, some of these colors look muddyish on white paper. Almost looks like a brown. And the last one is brown. And then this light looks like a bronze or a, I don't know, some kind of a gold. Yeah. Brown. So that's it. I am going to let this completely dry before I close it up on my paper towel. Okay, so we've got the colors on white, on black, and rock it around a little bit so you can maybe see the shimmer. I don't know if it comes across on film. There we go. The white and the black. Um, what else was I going to say? Yeah, so that's it for this video. Um, I really like these colors. I think I'm going to have fun playing with them. Um, I also got the other day some Color O colors. I got this set. It's called Vintage. I will swatch these if anybody's interested. It's a set of six and... I have the starry colors, and here's another color row. All right, this is 12 colors, and I was really shocked when I pulled them out and saw how small they were. But anyway, that's a video for another day. But that's all for now. Uh, it was nice chatting with you, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.